link below in the description. And if you can't contribute or just plain don't want to, you can just simply give this video a thumbs up. That is a great little bit of support that, well, it's free. In the end, I'm just glad you enjoyed the show. Thank you, and I'll see you soon. Cheers. Hi. Other action figures each sold separately. From the court. Her. Oh, yeah. Judy, get the door. It must be Cousin Willie. Okay. Hi. 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 Hi.
Um, Damien, did I say Damien? Yeah, Damien, Colton, Colton Grotz, Grotz Homegrown, Vincent, Colton, oh, where's it, Colton? K Dodger. And then the list goes on. Yes, please, don't forget, everybody. There's a lot of you watching right now that have already forgotten to hit that like button. So here's your friendly little reminder. Please, if you enjoy my content, hit that like button. If you really enjoy my content, hit the subscribe. And that way you get notified when I'm, I'm doing these fucking crazy live streams. Because that's mostly what I do, in case you haven't noticed. Okay. Uh, you know what? I don't know about you guys, but I think it's... Round two. It's damn time, damn time, motherfucking damn time, damn time, damn time, time to take a fucking damn break. Sorry, it's so it's just so hot in here. I need to get I need to get right. I need to get if I'm gonna be this fucking hot and uncomfortable, I might as well be all dabbed up, and then I got a reason for it. Native nugs cannabis. Cultivation, honey straw, <laughs> derbs. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. I'll just leave that there. A little cloud bending. Okay, get out of here. I'm actually surprised that it's hanging out that well with a fucking fan right there. <coughs> Apparently I need to turn it up, but I was uh, trying to be nice on the microphone. So, the bugs. The bugs are fucking back indeed. Let me tell you a quick story. Me and the wife uh, were cleaning up the top dressing. We took... Uh, We've been battling this gnat fly infestation in uh, the 5x5, five five, mostly. The 5x5 five five no-till tent because of all the cover crop and the the organics and stuff that I was using and I was using a, a, a very wet uh, method and it was just too much and it just created a freaking haven for gnat flies and they grew like hell. So after many attempts, first I attempted biological. We ordered a bunch of bugs, a bunch of beneficial mites, beneficial mites and beetles, these rove beetles and these beneficial stradio something mites. I put them all in there, waited a couple weeks Everything kind of dropped for about a week or two. And then it fucking spiked again. And they were coming right back. And I was like, fucking hell, man. So I diatinaceous earthed the whole top layer of all of the soil in my living soil tent. It was just a fucking drag. I felt bad. It was a very scorched earth attempt. I waited a couple days, dried out everything, let everything just start to wilt a little bit. Just so they were, you could visibly see that they were thirsty. And I knew that the top soil was very, very dry. And then I bottom fed them for a couple of days. Two, two, two feedings in a row, I bottom fed them. Uh, super drying out that top layer of soil. Then, me and the wife gathered all that top soil and started scooping it in, into this bucket to take it outside and throw it in the incinerator bin. Friggin' burn barrel, okay? I got something on my tongue. Anyway, so then, mm, there is still something. Haha, I got you, you son of a... Um, so after we took all, the, we started taking this stuff out to the bin, I, I, I scooped back some soil and the soil was fucking crawling, crawling with bugs. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God, there is so many gnat fly babies in here. This is crazy. They're just fucking going nuts. Fuck. So we took all of this topsoil out and we fucking burnt this son of a bitch. Fuck you topsoil. All this topsoil, and then I put some brand new, brand new, right out of the bag, new sort of pro mix style. It's called Blue Sky Organics. Uh, it, it, it's a Canadian version of pro mix. We put some of that on brand new bale of dirt on the top, and I uh, was just very, very, very careful with my watering for a while to not give them those environments to, to grow back again. The other day, it's been looking great. I haven't seen a big, I've had traps in there for a long time. Uh, I've had traps in there for quite a while now, and there's a couple here or there, but like, it's it's basically taken care of. Like, it's organics, you're going to have a bug or two, um, but it's like, it's no big deal. Very minor, very minor. Then all of a sudden, I was doing something, I was watering something, and I was moving a, a, a sign, and I moved some soil, and the soil moved. 
I'm going to show you this. I want to show you this. I'm, gonna, I, I'm purposely being a little storytelling here, but let's go have a look here. Let's go have a look into the tent. And I'm going to show you what the fuck I'm talking about. The soil was fucking crawling. I couldn't believe my eyes. I was like, no. I, I'm like, it's a trick of the, it's the, it's the soil that's um, uh, 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 just crumbling around from where I had moved it. That's what it was. It was the soil moving. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I kept telling myself. No, 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 no. I want you guys to see this in person. You guys need to see this shit. This is, uh, this is something else, man. So here, let me, let me pop these legs down here. Right there, there, there. And then this last back leg here. Bring that one down to about halfies. Okay, there we go. Now, I don't know how well that, how close I can get that. Right there, that looks pretty good actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my sunglasses off here so I can look back over my shoulder at the screen and see if I can see this. Let's see if we can, I want you to see this. Watch the soil very closely. Now this is a 4K camera. There's a reasonable amount of lighting in there, but you guys see that? Am I crazy? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me bring some more over from over here. Let me bust it up a bit and see what happens. There we, oh, hold on. A little bit of its wind, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on. I'm crazy, you guys think I'm crazy, hold on. I'm not seeing it right there very well. I saw a little bit earlier, but give me a second. I'll get you a better angle here. Open this fucking tent right up here. There we go, there we be. Okay, hold on. Now I know for a fact that if I dig right over here, I'll, I'll be able to show you what I'm talking about. Right there. Now, can anybody else see that moving on there? Hold on. I'm just going to place this right there. And I'm going to come and stand over here. i got to be able to see. Oh, it doesn't want to focus for shit. Come on. Here, let me see if I can focus this better. I thought that that would focus, but it doesn't seem to want to. Um... Well, shit, folks, I don't know how to. There we go. There we go. Oh, you can see them moving. Okay. You can see them crawling in there. Oh, yeah, they're moving. It looks like a fucking ant farm. It looks like an ant farm. Okay. <laughs> so you can see it. I'm not crazy. I told you. There are bugs in the tent. But. There's a giant butt here. I want to point something out here. Now I'm going to pull out. Um, now this is, this is a, a, a trap that's been in there for about two days. Look at all the gnat flies on there. Two days, a two day trap with no flies and that much in the soil. What the fuck is going on? I wonder if anybody in chat knows what's going on here before I come on over here and just fucking reveal it like I'm a freaking, like it's some big magical surprise at this point. Hold on, let me close up the tent. It'll fuck up the cameras. I get complaints when I have background tents open because it glares, glares out the cameras all weird. Does anybody in chat know what is going on in my tent before I explain what's going on? Because I know what's going on. It's dab time, dab time, motherfucking dab time, dab time, dab time, time to take a fucking dab break. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll let you. I'll let you guys in on the secret. This is not a bad thing. That is fucking awesome news. That is really good news because those are rove beetles. Those are the rove beetles that I put in there to kill the gnat fly larva and they are flourishing. Fl can I say the word flourishing anymore? 
Apparently I had about a million gnat fly eggs in there because they have been, it looks like ants. You just dig the soil in any spot. Like I just picked a spot, went brr, 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 and there was movement. I mean, that's not a good thing. Like, yay, I got gnat fly eggs. <laughs> but no, that means they are fucking gone. Fuck you, gnat flies. I win. Beneficial beetles to the rescue. A couple of weeks back, like, like, like a month ago, we put those beetles in there and I didn't think it worked. And I had kind of given up and I freaking, after a couple of weeks, I went scorched earth and then we took everything out and started trying to reset the topsoil. Those bugs were in there. Those beneficial beetles survived, thank goodness. And they are fucking loving life and they are cleaning up the freaking leftovers for us. Damn it. I talked out my dab. I should start selling bugs. No, I don't want to do that. That's a pain in the ass. I will, however, if you're part of the Discord community, if you're part of the Discord community and you live in Canada and you want a little pill bottle with some of these freaking, uh, uh, some of these little buggy bug bug bugs here, I will drill a hole in it, put a little paper freaking, uh, 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 like a coffee filter under the lid, drill a hole in it, and I'll mail you off some rove beetles if you want. If you guys got organics and you're dealing with gnat fly issues and you live in Canada and you're in the Discord, hit me up. I'll help you out if you want it. I can't guarantee what else is going to come in there, but there is definitely a rove beetles and shit tons of them. That's a fucking awesome thing, man. Awesome. Those things are so awesome. I'm just impressed. I put a very small amount into kind of each of the pots and they fucking spread they did their thing it took a couple of weeks to really really kick in but pfft, it's the we're we're in the final legs of this war this war is won. the freaking gnat flies that are still flying around there's a couple of them here or there they don't know what's going on they're stragglers it is over <laughs> Now, to be fair, um, rove beetles are a little bit harder to get than some of the, those stratiocrapus something um, mites that I was using as well. I have these mites in here as well, beneficial mites that, that go after a few things, including gnat fly larva. They also go after spider mites and a few other things and thrip babies and uh, springtails and a few other jibby jibbies. Anyway, these little beneficial mites, you can get them on Amazon. You guys might have heard of it called the Grub Grenade. Uh, uh, a Grub Grenade, uh, the gnat fly edition, is a beneficial mite. It's a little bit different uh, than uh, the Pot Poppers, which is a uh, nematode designed for your soil. They're both fucking awesome things. Like everything in my... It, this system and my greenhouse now has nematodes, those uh, beneficial mites, and rove beetles. And everything in the frickin' here has rove beetles. Since I discovered I've got an infestation, I've been spreading these beetles around. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'm fucking happy. By the way, I got my initial rove beetles, to tell you the truth, from thebuglady.ca. She's got everything. You need something for your garden, beneficial bugs. That is your one-stop shop in Canada. I'm not even kidding you. Thebuglady.ca. Take a look. You need anything. Hit that lady up with an email, and she will have your solid answer. I swear. Obviously. It worked for me. She sent me the correct stuff, and it fixed the, pro the problem. It did. What I'm guessing happened was the mites took out the initial wave of the war the war was fought on the front line with the mites and the mites took down a lot of the adults with the sticky tarps and shit took down a lot of the adults and started slowing down the breeding process but there were billions of eggs in waiting billions so they just kept swarming more were coming like just wave after wave of the bug horde and uh it took a while for the frickin' beetles to frickin' mass up their frickin'... The beetles, like, have no rival. The, the, the gnat flies cannot defend themselves versus these beetles. You just needed to have the beetles build up a number system where they could overwhelm the eggs to a point where there's just no more hatching. 
And I think that's what's happened and why they're just flourishing in there and why the gnat flies have seemed to have just kind of stopped happening. I think it just took time to freaking time to kick it in, man. And uh, that is awesome. Oh, thank God the temperature's dropping in here a little bit. Holy crap, it was a hot one today. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, before I start dabbing, <clears throat> I want to dab more. Don't get me wrong, I love dabbing. But before I dab any more, let's get into some actual cannabis showing here. Let's take a look at some stuff. Um, I showed you some bugs real quick. We'll get back into that tent here for a second. I want to give you a little sneak peek at the little magic pro. I keep showing you this. So it's not really super secret, but I'm not telling you shit about it. Some of you know, one of you knows what's fucking going on. One or two of you knows what's going on. Uh, sneak peek. She's sexy. She's looking good. She's being recorded. She's being monitored. Right? She's got a baby monitor there. Don't worry about that. That is uh, for your pleasure. I guarantee it. That's about all I want to say about this right here. Um, this tent in this tent right here behind door number two. We've got uh, the male project. I'm not showing that to the, I'll show you that at the very end. I, after popular demand, after popular demand, I don't have to yell, it's right on my fucking lapel here. After popular demand, I will not be opening the, the hybrid breeding project until the very end as to pretty much nil, make sure that there's no cross contamination. So I got a pretty good vacuum going on there pushing into like a, a, a pillowcase and stuff buried under some blankets and shit. So I don't think any of that pollen that's getting sucked out is actually going anywhere. I fucking hope. Oh my God. Well, we'll find out. But I do have uh, the four by four to show you. If I can get this dang thing unwrapped. Just all this dang, there we go. Ding dang cables. Let's take a look at the four by four. So, uh, <clears throat> As always, all of my tents run the AC Infinity system. You can use my code below. It's Cannabeard, my name. You don't need to use it below. Just use it on Amazon or their website, .ca and .com. Cannabeard. Save yourself 15% on all products. AC Infinity. Little plug there. Thank you, AC Infinity. They've been having my back for a long time. They kick ass. They're a good company. I appreciate them. So here we go. Whoop, 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 whoop. This right here is the this is the this is the cheese drawer. This is the drawer full of cheese because over here we got some cheese. We got some cheese, 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 cheese. It's all fucking cheese, okay? It's all cheese. And uh, fuck, man, this lady right in the front here is uh, <sighs> dude. Check out the weed titties on that one. Do those buds go all the way up? Like, yeah, baby. Dude, this fucking, excuse me. Uh, I actually, pardon me. I'm actually going to make some honest to God conscious efforts. This is real for a second. Listen to me. I'm going to make some honest to God conscious efforts to try to stop burping so much on, on, on camera, man. For real. I'll try to stop drinking pops and stuff at the very least. Um, I make a, make an effort. That's the least I can do. Anyway, this lady right here is uh, close. She ain't ready yet, but she's close, man. She's a she's a beauty. Um, this one right here is interesting. It's actually very weird. This is all the same thing. I'm doing some pheno testing here. Um, this one actually is showing some skinnier leaves. Dare I say, it almost looks... Look, look at that. If you wouldn't know any better, you would almost say that was a sativa in the corner. Look at those little skinny leaves. Look at these things. It was a little thirsty. Don't get me wrong. It was. I woke up this morning and it was droopy. And I was like, oh, shit. It was the only one in the tent. It was droopy, though. It, it, it needed a glass of water before everybody else. It was thirsty. I don't know. It got less last time or something. I don't know what happened. But it was thirsty. And uh, so that's one reason. But it, it, it is legitly skinnier leaves than everybody else in this tent. And they are kind of a hybrid, so it's okay. And phenotypes happen, man. Phenotypes happen. You grow fucking uh, 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 10 of any fucking seed, unless you're fucking cloning, you're going to get some fucking pheno variations. Slight variations in the way they grow or how fucking big and juicy they are or whatever. 
anyway, um, this tent's growing strong. I don't know what to tell you. It's been growing good. Um, I was bottom feeding for a long time to uh, avoid the same problems. Uh, I go back and forth between top feeding and water and bottom feeding to not oversaturate the top and thus create a super awesome environment for the flies to have a new place to live. Um, fuck you, gnat flies. I've also spread rove beetles in here too, just just cause. I, since I found them, I've jarred them up and spread them on everything. Spread them around, man. Spread them like spread them like beneficial herpes. Fucking what the hell did I just say? Beneficial herpes. Oh my god. Scratch that, man. The things you say when you're fucking stoned, eh? Okay, now before we get into the final tent, which is the five by five. It's not quite the final tent, but the final grow tent. Do, 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 do. Boop, 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 boop. Um, it's not the final one, but it's the big one. It's the one you're all waiting to see. Let's have a fucking. <laughs> oh my goodness way to fucking flail and press every freaking button except the one you meant no nope, this one nope that one then this one turn that on everything's all fucking whoops have a fucking dab for it's damn time damn time damn time damn time damn time damn time 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 take a fucking dab break Ah, Fortnite uh, says, I have a 5x5 five five AC Infinity tent. Ooh, sexy, man. I got a little 2x4 AC tent, and it's a nice tent, man. Uh, and a six inline fan, exhaust, and a powdery mildew. Oh, no. Milk. Spray milk on it, my friend. <laughs> you laugh at can of beard. Ha, ha, ha. Look it up, man. Spray milk on it. There's an enzyme in milk that combats powdery mildew. I'm not even kidding you. Ah, it might not be the oh, that might not be the best. There's like pro uh, 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 products you can buy right from fucking your local hardware store called like Safer Spray or something. That's a powdery mildew spray. That's probably better than milk. Uh, but the active enzyme in there is in milk. The old farmer's trick is just spray shit with milk. But I'd just go buy a fucking powdery mildew spray at your local hardware store if it's like organic-ish and if as long as you're not worried about using something. But if you want to try something DIY, man, spray some milk on it. <coughs> yeah, whole milk. I think it's fattier the better. Google that shit. I don't know my math on that perfectly. <coughs> I've used it outdoor last year, but I forget. But milk, yeah. Crazy shit, right? <coughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Oof, oof, oof. <sighs> Does a body good. A little mood juice, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the five by five. You guys want to see it? You already had a little, a little peaky peaky at what was going on. Oh, God. Hey, my knees didn't crack. Very nice. They usually go cluck clack like a frickin' typewriter fucking, but nope, not today. Nice. Stretches hell. Oh my god, folks. I want to tell you a quick little a quick little tale about that smiley bastard. And uh no your eyes are not deceiving you. It is smiling at you. Look at that. Is that not the fucking stonedest looking dehumidifier ever? Or am I, am I high or is this thing fucking winking at me? <laughs> at any rate, um, so here's a little quick story about this thing. I took the fucking container out and drained it and was fucking high and didn't fucking for, forgot to put it back in and went to bed, woke up the next day. There's fucking water all over the floor in here there's a big puddle right underneath the fucking thing because apparently i didn't turn it off either and it just kept fucking dripping water i don't know how the fuck it didn't know that there wasn't a bucket in there but it just kept it's a fucking stoner look at it you've seen its face 
I showed you what it looks like. It's fucking high as shit. Look at this tent it's in. Anyway, it was fucking pee in the bed all over the place. So I had to put all... You can actually still see one of the little pads back there. Still soaking up its fucking... Peed the bed. Shame on you, little humidifier. I mean, shame on me. I should have put your freaking diaper back on. I'm sorry. It was totally my fault. But anyway, so I guess shame on me. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have blamed it on you. It wasn't really your fault. It was 100% my fault. At any rate, moving on. I just thought that was a funny little story, and it's 100% true. Now, the skirt is fucking one thing. Yada, yada. I'm going to have to grab the freaking ninja thing here. Let me see if the ninja works. It's hard to work hard to get that thing in there uh <laughs> hopefully that's not what she said there we go there we go there we go look at look at the the dab time b button <laughs> isn't that the best button ever i told you i have a button that tells me it's time to dab <laughs> all right let's uh here I bet yeah, I can just put my hand up in here like this and get close and show you some shit. There you go, look at that. Bud. So this this plant right here that I'm looking at, um, again, it's hard hard to tell, but it's this first one here and this one. So uh, my hand is where. These two right here are um, both LA Confidential from I Love Growing Marijuana Seeds. I fucking love this shit, man. I've grown it before. It is such a good presser. It's so resinous and it tastes so piney. If you, it, it, you gotta like pine. It's like pine tar times two. Maybe it's not that piney, but it's pretty fucking piney, man. It's it's a very 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 very. If you look at the terpene profile on it, on the profile, it says pine. That's it. One word, pine. I don't know. I find it fucking delicious. Um, let me see here. I, 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 I'm having a hard time with my hand here. Uh, yeah, look at that butt up there. Look at that fucking butt. Hold on a second. I gotta get in the tent here. I gotta take this dang hat off. Hold on. Hold on. Here. Take the sunglasses off right there. Take the hat off right there. And then we gotta... How do I do this? Come in here like this. Thing in here. And then we stand up in here like this. Woo! There we go. Now I can fucking show you. Look at this beauty. Hello, sexy mama. That's a that's a nice weed titty right there. Look at that thing. That's a big old happy weed titty. Look at all the weed titties on the top of this. Woo! This is this one plant right here, you can see. Oh, I got the Spata Pharma 7000. Thank you, Spider Farmer. This episode is actually brought to you in part by the fucking, this fucking weird Spider Farmer 7000 monstrosity. It is, uh, it says it can, uh, uh, it's capable of flowering a, a five by five, and it is capable of flowering a five by five. But, but, as you can see in the back corner there, we've got a little shadow. <clears throat> I tried to see if I could wait it out, and uh, standing up in here now that I see that, I can see. Yeah, I really, really got to do something about this up at the top here. I can, um, uh, I'm going to put a different ratchet system on these, I think, and uh, uh, bring it closer to this. Like, maybe even put a ratchet on each corner and just put four of them up there, and then I can fucking get it right to the ceiling if I got it. Anyway, uh, this thing over here is uh, an absolute monstrosity, this big lady right here. Uh, if I can reach down here and give it a wiggle, you can see how big she is. It's it's the biggest, tallest Amazon in the jungle for sure. This is uh, Blue Dream. Or no, sorry, Blue Sherbert. Pardon me, fucking Blue Dream. I'm smoking on Blue Dream. I'm all fucking high. Blue Sherbert. This was uh, donated by uh, Andreas the Power Johnson. This is that seed that he was like fucking loving on that he just... He loves it. I don't know. It's his favorite seed. It's growing pretty crazy. I got another one in the basement. <clears throat> um, uh, I haven't been able to show you that one very much, but look at this thing in the back. So you can see there's this scrog net. There's a two foot by, hold on, I can barely see, by four foot, four foot long pad down there. It's hard to see. There we go. You can kind of see over that big giant living bed there's one plant in there 
I spread uh, one plant out throughout a two by four foot bed. And uh, it's it seems to be paying off. Look at that. Look at, come on, focus. Focus, you son of a bitch. Why won't you focus? I know with the big bud, it's impressive, but come on now. Now, whatever, it's not focusing. Will it focus on this one? Nope, doesn't want to focus on anything. Man, I got, I got weed squishing up all on my belly. I'm trying not to do this here. But I got it leaned up on me as best I can. I kind of went like up like this to kind of make sure that the buds aren't squishing on me too much. But whew, like this other corner right here, I'm squished up in this little corner like this. Mm, trying to film. It's beautiful in here. It's beautiful. Let me get out of here. I can take you around the back door. Uh. <sighs> hold on, hold on. Let me come on over here. Yeah, okay. Hold on a second. Let's go around the back there and look at, uh, here, this is what's powering it right here, baby. Yeah, yeah. Green. We got the 444 and the bloom, baby. There's some other, I got other, other action going on here. I got a lot of all the other weird little parts and this is and that's up here and stuff too. But uh, Gaia Green is what I've been running in this tent. Okay, well, here we go the back door Mwah, ah, 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 ah. so there's the bed you, this is a good angle you don't get to see this one this angle very well from the front so you can see very clearly it's a single single plant just you know not even very many stalks how many is that five stalks but that five hydras into look at all the tops we were counting the other day there was like 30 something 30 30 something headed hydra here just oh baby I wish these focus I wish this would focus on those beautiful buds man you can see what and uh, one thing I, I will say is it's starting to really uh, come into its smell that it's talking about here it's starting to smell like honey over in here oh it's weird weird why does it smell like honey it does it's got this weird sweetness it's not I mean it's not like honey honey but there's definitely a little sweetness in the air and I'm just impressed at like you can see how big this lady is. There's a lot of a lot of arms on this. Look at that big bud right over here. Look at that. Yeah, lady. Beautiful, beautiful. At any rate. Uh, oh, oh, I touched something. Oh, my fingers are so sticky now. Oh, man, this is a dank lady. This is Dresden Green diamonds by the way this is a bit because tim died dresden green diamonds Moink. and see look at this look at this this is like this is a couple days old there's one i see one it's weird how the focus will go out of focus and then never come back at when i use this pro when i use this program the autofocus on it sucks sucks all sorts of badness is bad not a good not a good quality. Oh, okay. Shuffle, 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 crab walk, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Don't step on the uh, little pinch, little choke point, step around one of the tripods. You guys see this shit that I have to deal with here? Hey, it's the penguin. Hey, buddy. Hey, is it just me or is it? It's dab time, dab time, motherfucking dab time, dab time, dab time, time to take a fucking dab break. No, how do I turn that thing off? There we go. Here, let me shut this down so it doesn't fuck the camera up. And then I'll get into chat. Also, speaking of getting into chat, uh, I've taken some steps today uh, uh, today my 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 test subject well uh, uh, my willing my willing chat slave uh, had prior engagements but uh, um, we will have potentially a voice in my ear probably this year because then it won't be directly in in sight but uh, a voice that can read chat and read off very specific uh, uh, cherry picked comments that he figures. Uh, uh, that it are, are worth not 
not that they're worth reading, but you know what I'm saying. Like, good good questions and stuff. Something I might have missed. Something that might have been important or something. Because I do miss a lot. Uh, chat goes by pretty quick here. Uh, I'm not trying to ignore you. You know that I love you guys. But it is... I, I, I could sit here and chat all day. I could. Or I could show you some wheat. Or I'm going to try to do both. So that's why I'm going to try to have a, a little voice in my ear reading the odd comment that uh, needs to be addressed. Anyway. Hopefully that works. It might. Seems like a thing. Anyway, a, a little bee told me it was dab time, so I think it's fucking dab time. Yeah, if the frickin' buy 10, get 10 fucking deal or is on with I Love Grow Marijuana, that's awesome. If you guys really want to hook a brother up, click on, if you're going to buy something from I Love Growing Marijuana, go to cannabeardgrows.com and click on my, any of my links on the discount pages and shit, the store and stuff, that kind of page. Uh, any of the links to uh, I Love Growing Marijuana or even the sponsored links on the uh, the Cannabeard Cup, by the way. That's what's been scrolling up at the top in case you guys have been ignoring the scroller at the top. Cannabeard Cup round two, baby. I'm taking my sweet ass time being lazy as shit, really taking my time. <laughs> Letting it, uh, letting it marinate for a little bit. We're, I'm not in a huge rush. Also, like, I got to do something different about my grow spaces personally, so I can also partake. Um, I want to address that actually. Oh, fuck yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so this room right now is hot as shit. I've got these tents turned down to half, half, and they're still pushing over 80, and they won't go down. It's just hot in this room, man. <laughs> so, I mean, realistically, these tents, as long as I'm moving good airflow, um, and maybe I, I do have CO2 in these two tents. I've got a uh, uh, bagged mushroom CO2, uh, but Realistically, I can I can push those things up into the high 80s without damaging my cannabis. Because um, you got to consider how fucking hot it is outside in the world. You know, in the sun, where plants naturally live, it gets like 90s and shit, 100 and something, man. I'm not saying, I, I know it's different. This is a closed environment. It's the humidity starts fucking going through the roof. There's other factors. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm not trying to argue that it's the same. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying they can handle a little bit more heat than you think sometimes. And, uh, but it is hot as shit in here and I need to do something about it. I'll tell you this thing. I cannot right now, the way this is set up with this, 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 and this, I cannot grow like this, this summer. I will, I can't do it. It'll just, it'll, it'll burst into flames and turn into lava. It'll just explode and melt and just bleh, bleh, bleh. It'd just be like fucking a big lava pool in my backyard. Too hot. Can't do it. I gotta do something different with this shit. So, some big fucking changes. Some big changes. Some of you know what the fuck's going on. Wink, wink. But those of you that don't, there's a really big change gonna happen in the in the grow garage here come summer, so that I can keep growing throughout the summer. I got I got a plan. I wanna I wanna change some things around. Um, I, I got some ideas. Yep, I do. So uh, I need to I need to keep growing throughout the summer in this space. I don't want to go back into the basement. I can't do it. I got a freaking tap and stuff. I got a sink out here. I got this cool space to broadcast from. I don't I don't want to go back into the house. You can't make me go back in the house. One more. It's dab time, dab time, motherfucking dab time, dab time, dab time, time to take a fucking dab break. Fuck, it's so hot. I'm like delirious out here, dude. It's freaking... I need to shave the sides of me heads again. Somebody was trying to give me shit the other day. Uh, uh, that's all I'm going to get into about it. But somebody was trying to give me shit. And one of their attacks, one of their stupid attacks was... You got a fucking mohawk, man. What are you, fucking a teenager? Act your age. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, dude, it is fucking hot as shit here. I don't want to go full 
I don't want to shave off everything, and I think I kind of look good with my fucking mohawk, so fuck you. <laughs> it's my hair. I do what I want. I'll grow a fucking mullet if I fucking want to, so fuck you. But. Oh, haven't you figured it out? I'm an eccentric weirdo. It's, it's so much cooler, man. I gotta, I gotta shave something. I gotta get rid of some of this hair. This is, this is killing me. It's too thick. I got all this, I got all this stupid thing on my, on my, on my chin that frickin' is, this thing weighs a fucking couple hundred degrees for sure. Weighs a couple hundred degrees. Oh yeah, it was totally a hater. It was 100% a hater. There was a lot more to it, but they can go fuck themselves. I don't care. It's all baseless bullshit just somebody fucking just felt like i want to fucking be a dickhead on the on the internet me, 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 me. <laughs> uh, sorry i don't even i don't even mean to figure because then like you guys are fing i'm fingering you guys and i'm trying to single out there's like one person in the crowd that that's aimed for and i shouldn't generalize that i don't want to be fingering the crowds like that that's not what i'm about so whatever sorry for fingering the rest of you <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna call it there. I'm gonna show you this other tent, and uh, and then we'll we'll move on from it. How about that? Let's show you this tent, and then move on. Whoosh. Um, I think I'm just gonna pick this one up and move this one around. It's probably gonna give me the the easiest. Now, let me make sure. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, hold on. I gotta zip up these other ladies, these other tents good here. I just realized their fucking, their zippers were open. I stepped on the mic. Sorry about that. I fucking yanked it right out of my thing and I stepped on it. Okay, that one's done. And, uh,. You're zipped up good. You're zipped up good. Everybody zipped up good. Good. Everybody zipped up. There we go. Okay, you ready? Are you ready for this? You ready? It's like a circus thing. You guys all pay your fee? Are you over 19? Brace yourselves. It's a freak of nature. We have half male, half female plant. Planticus. Oh yeah, I gotta press the button. Behold! The half female, half male Planticus. Covered in freaking fly tapicus. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Here, let me move this fucking fan. Let me turn the fan right off for a second, actually. Keep the freaking pollen flow at the minimum for right now. Um, <clears throat> I honestly think I'm gonna cut this male flower off soon. Because I'll tell you, it's kind of hit the point where... Here's the male flower, by the way. Wha-bam. Who's got big balls? Who's got the biggest balls of them all? I'm not going to shake those balls. Fuck no. No more. No more shaking of the balls. Anyway, they're big old balls on that one branch only. I sprayed it with uh, colloidal silver, 30 ppm, like twice a day for like a couple of weeks. And lo and behold, balls! Balls on a very beautiful female. Oh, it's such a shame that she has to be... Oh, it's a shame you got knocked up, baby. But no, it's not. It's actually exactly what I want. Please bear me children of seeds. Seed babies. Please, please be pregnant. Please. Please have baby seeds in you. There's so many. If not, I'm going to smoke you anyway. I don't give a fuck if you have seeds. I'm going to smoke your ass anyway because you're sexy. But please give me seeds. Please give me some seeds. Just some. Please. Anyway, um, I don't know. I don't think it'll harm it at this point. Let me know in the comments below. I'm also going to refer to my Discord before I make any maneuvers. But I would like to kind of come in here and go like this. Snip and just cut this male plant off and very carefully go burn it out in the fucking paint can out in the backyard somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then 
just let these fucking ladies go too far. Just let them go overripe. Because the longer you kind of let them, the, the more developed, not to the more developed the seeds are, but she actually got kind of impregnated a little bit late and it's an auto flower. So I kind of need to push it a little bit. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think. You think if it's okay or not, if I fucking cut this arm off just to fucking avoid possible cross contamination with the rest of my whole fucking, with the rest of the grow room in here. There's all these other fucking tents. It's important. I don't want to get fucking, I don't want to get all these other bitches freaking pregnant. Fuck that. I got other fucking things going on. I can't afford that. That's way too much child support. No. Keep it in your pants, buddy. Oh, I touched it. Shit. Ugh. Anyway, that's what's going on here. This is a very, very, very smelly, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lady. Oh, my God. By the way, for those who, who I don't know and haven't been following every day with this thing, this is a... Uh, uh, sweet and sour from mephisto genetics it's a genetic they don't make anymore they stopped uh they've bred it into other things but they don't offer this this was like one of their test test batches and it's so fucking good i don't want to let go of it and it was my last seed so i forced one of them into mail so that i can try to pollinate and get some more seeds and just potentially just maybe get some seeds out of the deal i hope i fucking hope because it's so fucking yummy and this freaking, dang it. Come on, man. Ugh, just giving me all, all the grief in the world. It was like catching, there we go. All the cables were all wrapped up in its shit. Anyway, bring this thing back down here. Actually, you know what? This doesn't matter anymore. I guess I shouldn't really even bother with that as long as the airflow is going. I had it blowing right on the... The setup was, is I had the fan blowing directly onto the male plant, directly onto the male flower, pardon me, and had all of the waiting ladies behind it so that anything that was sprinkling off that was just spattering all over those freaking big old weed titties behind it. Hopefully. I mean, I, I've never done this before. I, I don't really know. This is all, come on, get your freaking zipper done up. There we go. It was all, all new to me. But uh, so far, it's working. I mean, that's impressive. I got like 30 seed from mine first time. Blah, 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 blah. Only two sprouted. <laughs> hey, man, I'd be happy. I know I, th that would be a really low success, but it would be better than anything. You know, I just, it'd be, it's for fun more than anything. More than anything, it's for fun. <laughs> just a learning process, right? I've never done that. Don't you want to collect the pollen? Mm, I could. Could I not cut that whole branch off, dry it out, and then kind of like shake that bitch off? I know it wouldn't be super, super, super clean pollen. There'd be other tidbits in that bitch too, but I could put that all in a film container in the fridge or something for a while, I guess. I don't know. I don't really want to breed a bunch of plants. I just kind of want that one to be freaking I want more of that that's all I really want I don't really care about breeding plants right now I'm still Smoke fucking I got lots of other shit to figure out long before I figure that out mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. oh my goodness I hope you couldn't hear that I bet you probably could Mike's right on my freaking I didn't think about that. Sorry about that. Okay, one more dab. I mean, you guys don't care if I have a dab. It's dab time, dab time. My fucking dab time. Dab time, dab time. Time to take a fucking dab break. Muck dab, maybe. <laughs> Just a dab, a dab fest. The dab, uh, 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 we actually had this one thing set up for a little while, the dab gauntlet. That's that's waiting until after frickin' COVID's over. When COVID's over, we'll do some, we'll do some gauntlet action.
Nat solution. Mildew solution. Uh, stop overwatering. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not to be a dick. Straight up. Stop overwatering. That's my problem, too. I, I had the same problem. Don't feel like I'm not superior. It's not like I, I, I knew better and I still fucking overwatered. So what does that tell you? <laughs> it's hard not to, man. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's gardening. It's not perfect. It's gardening. It's a fine-tuned skill that takes a little bit of time to finesse and figure out for yourself, like, what feels right, you know? You start to get the feel for it, and it's just, you know, it's all good. There is no, like, 650 milligrams every two days at 4.30 p.m. There is no math that you can fucking throw... I mean, you could figure out the math on clones and repeat it, yes, but that's not what we're talking about. <coughs> Oh. <coughs> um, where's my mouse thing in the way here? Seriously, my problem, even when I know better. True, dude. <laughs> it happens, man. It's okay. Um, there's a couple of pro uh, products you can spray for uh, uh, the, the, the powdery mildew shit and gnat flies, man. I'm going to show you your fucking best friends. Where are they? Let's see if I got one of the round ones, too. I think I got a round one over here somewhere. Where did I see that? Yep, over here. Yep, yep, yep. Different spots. I only got one or, one or two of these left. There we go. These things. This can go around your plant. You can actually rip this one in half and just put half down on, on your fucking plant or whatever. Uh, there's these little things. They go on these little sticks, these little plastic sticks like this. And they collect fucking bugs. These are my fucking favorite. I love these little petals. And then there's the big panels. And they got little holes in the top and the bottom. I cut these in half. And uh, a lot of people will stick like a wooden skewer through it. And then pull uh, pull the panels off. And then stick a wooden skewer through it. Burp. And, and stick it into your thing like a sail. Boop. And, uh, you know, however you got to do it. Yellow sticky pads are gnat flies fucking bane. They love this shit. They love jumping all over it like fucking idiots. And then they get stuck and they die. Ha, 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 ha. Um, and if shit gets fucking really serious and you can't fucking win, coat your fucking soil in this and that'll slow them down to a fucking near halt. But if you're going organics, um, if you're going full organics, it'll fuck up your topsoil biology a little bit um and you'll have to like eventually remove it which is what we did there's a bunch of different options i don't know and then stop watering so much <laughs> try try bottom feeding try changing it up go top feed once bottom feed the next time top feed once bottom feed the next time to let them extra dry out because is what's happening is the soil is so extra moist they're like, hey, this is a perfect environment. Just below the surface is nice and moist that we can we can live and hump and party up in here and lay eggs everywhere. It's perfect. And if it's too dry, they're not going to do that. I guess. I don't know. I'm no expert. Don't listen to me. I'm a stoner that just fucking happens to have a, happens to have a YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. <laughs> Woo! No, seriously, thank you all for hanging out. Man, I'm a hot motherfucker. It is so hot in the in the greenhouse today. It, it hit like almost, it hit like early 90s in the greenhouse today. Wasn't the hottest it's been yet this year, but that greenhouse, even with all of the, the things that I've got going on, it is going to get very hot in there. I'm going to end up having to pull that shade cloth on the front, thank goodness I got this 40% shade cloth, but I got I got this big 20 foot by 10 foot shade cloth bitch that I can pull down and cover like a big ass section, like almost the whole side that the sun is beating upon. Actually, the whole side, it's true. I can cover the entire side, one side of the greenhouse that the sun would be beating on um, if I needed to, and I might need to this summer. I really might need to. Thank God it's 
That shit will grow. Don't, don't get me wrong. 40% shade on that. Everything is still going to grow way better and way crazier than you ever would indoors with fucking some LEDs. Thousandfold. Outdoor can go crazy bonkers. Greenhouse go crazy bonkers. But uh, I might have to fucking combat that heat because it's going to get fucking... It's going to get like 120 in that thing. It's going to be fucking... It's going to be melting pots. You watch. It's going to be bad. I'm scared. Same with this room. Same with this room. Shit. Changes are happening. As soon as these grows are done, man, this one fucking is going to take a little longer. This one's going to piss me off. But the rest of this shit is almost done. That tent will be done sooner. The soonest one will be this one here. The, the, oh, sorry, I'm in the way here. The soonest one will be the breeding project. That'll probably be the first down with the exception of maybe that one auto flower in the dead center. That one, that one was the oldest. There's, there's three staggered age groups in this four by four. This one's probably got another month to go, man. I bet you I got three weeks at least to go with this bitch. It, this is like a nine to 10 week system seven seven to ten week system and so it's at it's there's no way that they're ready yet there one more week is not going to cut this this definitely needs at least two to three more weeks for sure so uh end of this next end of well fuck man we're in the new month already holy crap we are we're in the end of look at this we're in may we're in may already no we're in june june oh my goodness Oh my goodness, where's my brain at? Right. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to go and hide in my basement because it's a little bit cooler. I'm going to go have some dabs with people in the Discord. So uh, uh, if you want to come say hi real quick and have a quick dab with the old can of beard here before I die, I probably won't last very many, but I'm going to have a couple anyway. Uh, join the Discord. I mean, don't join the Discord just because you want to have a fucking dab with me. Join the Discord if you want to hang out with cool growers. And if you got questions or if you think you got answers and you're not a total dickhead. If you're a dickhead, don't even bother. You know you're a dickhead if you're a dickhead. You do. You Deep inside your soul, you know if you're a fucking prick and if people don't like you and shit. And if you're one of those people, kindly maybe don't come in. But if you're cool, fucking come on in. I don't care what color, fucking race, creed, or fucking how bad you smell. I can't smell you through the internet. So you're all fucking welcome if you're cool. <laughs> um one one dab for the road it's dab time dab time uh, my fucking dab time. time dab time dab time time to take a fucking dab break i'm sorry i gotta stop talking over the dab time i know that there's a song going on but i always forget because i can't hear it But thank you all for hanging out with <clears throat> Thank you all for hanging out with me as I reach puberty here. Um, <clears throat> thank you all for hanging out with me tonight. I uh, hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, show it by whoosh, smashing that like button. You don't have to smash it. You can just gently press it. But please do press it. That, I'd appreciate it. The YouTube algorithm would appreciate it. You don't have to smash it, man. Don't. We're not about violence here. I'm about fucking being chill. I'm over that shit. Over that shit. Chill out, man. Chill. Be cool. Be cool. Fucking kick ass. Oh. <laughs> um, don't forget to join the freaking Cannabeard Cup. Uh, more details on the website. Please read the fact, the FAQ. All of the details are very painfully spread out <laughs> in there. They're all there, though. <clears throat> it does make sense, I swear. If you have any fucking problem, please join the Discord, and we can help you along in any shape or form that we can probably do. Uh, have a good fucking day, and I'll see you soon for an update in the greenhouse. If I can... You know what? I might have to do a morning... I'm going to have to do one of two things, okay? What, what would you guys rather? I, I'm actually curious. Let me know in the, in the chat right be quickly before I go. Uh, I'll read it. But let me know in the chat if you guys would rather an early morning broadcast. This is, uh, keep in mind, I'm Pacific Standard Time. And I'm talking like, I don't know, maybe like a 10 o'clock Pacific Standard Time AM 
10, 11 o'clock maximum Pacific Standard Time uh, uh, broadcast or like a 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time broadcast from the greenhouse. It would have to either be, it would either have to be early morning or kind of like late evening. Yeah, early evening, mid evening, I guess, whatever. Because that sun don't go down, that thing don't peek down around the fucking corner until like eight o'clock, seven, seven, eight o'clock or somewhere around there. When it's when it's in the middle of the peak down, it can be happening. But I don't know, man. It's gonna get difficult. We're gonna have to play with what the sun will give us, unless until the day when I decide that I have to put all that fucking shade cloth up. Then we might have a little more leeway, but. Until that day, it gets fucking roasting in there. And there's no way I can broadcast with that kind of light and or heat. Whew. Anyway, let me know if you guys would rather a morning broadcast or an evening broadcast for that kind of a thing. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys soon, one way or the other. Cheers. researching the latest grow tips and filming heavily edited as well as interactive live streams our two-person cannabeard team 
um, strives hard to roll up the highest of quality cannabis growing entertainment three times a week. So if you really like what we do here, please consider liking and supporting our Patreon. Patreon allows fans of the show to contribute a small or large monthly sum to help support the channel while grow, as well as Patreons get a little bit of perks. Like, you get first crack at naming all of my plants, private Q&A sessions, and beyond as we grow. To learn more about our Patreon, click the link below in the description. And if you can't contribute or just plain don't want to, you can just simply give this video a thumbs up. That is a great little bit of support that, well, it's free. In the end, I'm just glad you enjoyed the show. Thank you, and I'll see you soon. Cheers. Thank you.